Okay, this is the little calibration box that I made up to test these Ford Focus clusters. Uh, this would be to test the LCD displays, for example, if I turned it on, that tests the LCD display. Okay, and then it also tests the needles. So when the system has been repaired, you can set the needles exactly, if I turn the ignition on, okay, the needles will calibrate and they should finish at exactly on the zero okay like they do okay that then tells you that you've got your needles in the right place and um you know and you're not going to put it all back together again only to find out the needles were in the wrong place or you did not just plug the display in properly okay what we're also going to do is this has got a dlc 16 plug on it okay we're also going to communicate with it using a scan tool so what i want to do using the all tail go into Ignition, um, instrument rather, turn the ignition on, okay, it's no good reading codes because there's going to be loads, but what I want to do, sorry about the glare, okay, I want to go into active test, okay, now if I just take this and put it there, because the box has done its job, okay, we want to test, for example, the speedo, so okay, so if I just go to speedo, Okay, and then I activate on. There we go, we can test the speedo. So say for example, you had one that you were cloning, for example, turn that off and get back out of the diagnostics. Say you were cloning it and you wanted to test the dials, you can do it like this um, using the scan tool. Um, this, with the right software, you can clone with this as well. So you can take another cluster on the bench and clone it from one to the other, okay? So I'll take this back out of the way. I wanna escape from this. Escape, escape, okay? And then just turn it off, turn the ignition off, like so, with that one. It turns the cluster off and I can also turn off the power, okay? So this little beauty made up of a box, ignition live, power, the calibration under there is a little variable resistor, okay, that is calibrated obviously at the moment to 120 ohms, okay. Very simple, lead comes out into the DLC. This lead goes into the back of the cluster, like so. Okay, that plugs into the back and locks in. And then this lead, through a little two amp fuse, where is it, this one here, through a little two amp fuse, Okay, onto a battery okay the terminals will be supplied as well so you can just use any battery clip onto it okay and that's it thank you for watching